Oral sex is now the number one leading risk factor for throat cancer, and I'm gonna explain why. It's because of this virus called HPV, which is associated with multiple cancers, including cervical and anal cancers as well. Even though many young women have been vaccinated against the leading cancer-causing strains of HPV, cases of throat cancer, which you can see in red here, have still been rising over the last 20 to 30 years, of which one explanation is liberal sexual practices. You see, even though the baseline risk of throat cancer is relatively low at 0.2% in women and 0.7% in men, having oral sex with just six or more partners can increase that risk by up to 8.5 times. For complete clarity though, it isn't important how many times you've performed oral sex, but how many different people you've performed it with. Now, of course, it's easy to say just stop having oral sex, but what many people don't realize is that there's barrier protection available for oral sex as well, including things like dental dams.